Why is the United States experiencing pest resistance problems that are unparalleled in magnitude anywhere else in the world? Why? Hold the question up. Why? Um, the last estimate I saw was on the um, number of the dollar figure for chemicals sold around the world. Uh, agricultural chemicals, $40 billion, of which I think $23 billion is spent in the United States. We represent 4.5% of the world's population. We use, what is that, 60% of the world's chemicals to grow our crops. And yet we're the most advanced country in the world, aren't we? Um, so either we're doing it completely wrong or we're doing it right and we're not, um, we're not advertising that very well, <coughs> I think. Um, we have taken, and, and I'm sure there's going to be some support for this statement, we have taken the path toward food production of intensification, uh, and we have not looked back in the last 70 years or so. We are going to try to increase production, uh, take over control of food production from nature, and turn it into a system, a process, uh, in which we manage all of the variables, right? Um, <coughs> and if in so doing it requires untold amounts of fertilizers and, and pesticides to do that, then that may just be the cost of doing business. Unfortunately, it's absolutely a dead end. Uh, it's unsustainable. It's doing incredible damage to our environment. It's even damaging the actual, the basis for food production itself, which is soil. Uh, to the point where soil is often not really alive anymore. And then that process has forced us into the greenhouse and into hydroponics and into as many other ways as we can think of to grow a plant without relying on nature. And so why we are so dependent on chemicals um, in this country and for our agricultural system is because we have taken a headlong dash into the world of technological marvelousness, and we are going to do it that way um, with more or less complete regard for all traditional systems and for the evolutionary biology of plants themselves and for um, any sort of recognition of how ecosystems actually work to produce biomass in this world. Um, <laughs> I'm going to turn it over to <laughs> either of the other two who want to comment on that, but uh, we have put ourselves in this situation, and I think it's up to us to get ourselves out of this situation. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think that you can't really separate the issues of pesticides and other chemicals used in our food supply from for instance, USDA agriculture system policy, which for decades and decades now has both subsidized uh, this kind of consolidated farming, uh, I would say not only intensive agriculture, but extensive agriculture, if you think of it in a horizontal sense of just land ownership and scale of farm production. You know, the other thing is we subsidize, you know, some very water intensive crops, so, you know, corn and soy, not as bad as beef, but it's, you know, the corn and soy is used for beef. So it's like, you can almost get a double whammy there with that set of subsidies. Um, you know, there's been a policy for decades going back uh, to the early post-war, post-Second World War period of calling it fence row to fence row planting and get bigger, get back, get out was uh, Richard Nixon's Ag Secretary's mantra, was just get bigger, get out. And so, you know, these, these things go part and parcel together. Um, certainly the pesticide and petrochemical industry is a powerful force in American politics uh, in terms of protecting their interests. They are allied with other powerful forces, including you know, the fossil fuel industries and other agribusiness industries. The Farm Bureau is going like, to be there every time the petrochemical you know, companies are there to back them up on this. And, you know, and all the way down the line, I mean, the ag extension programs and USDA, uh, the, school, you know, the uh, ag education programs are so heavily sponsored by uh, industrial agriculture interests and push, you know, that push this petrochemical monocrop large-scale get bigger, get out model. 
Yeah, it's called uh, industrial agriculture for a reason because the whole mindset is uh, machines. We are putting green machines into this green dirt, or uh, machine dirt that holds up the plant. And then we just put machine parts to make it do whatever we want it to do. So that sort of machine mentality is kind of where we've come from and where what's getting us into trouble. And that, of course, doesn't apply to living things. You can't treat uh, living things as machines. It's just like if you treated your partner as a machine, it wouldn't be a very long relationship. Thank you.